Plane dedicated. Welcome to another vlog. This one is about weather, and today is a perfect day to talk about the weather. This is Bristol Airport, and as you can see, visibility is down to a few meters, um, and this is real time. Okay. Now, what I'm going to talk about in relation to weather is FS Global Real Weather and SkyMax Pro Version Three. Okay. And there's been a lot of questions I've noticed this weekend around weather engines weather skymax pro and fsgrw so i'm going to try and take us through some of the issues well not issues but some of the things that we need to know about two programs first of all what you're seeing here right now is x-plane 10 with skymax pro version 3 running that's all that's running at the moment skymax pro version 3 and the weather is being taken from the x-plane servers okay um, so that's it that's all that's running at the moment and as you can see it is extremely foggy I'm just I'm just gonna take us to the limits there we, to about there all right so there's nothing else running I haven't got that sim running I haven't got FSG RW weather radar we're running all that's running is X plane Skymax Pro version 3 and it's taking the weather from the internet okay Right, so, explanations. FSGRW, or FS Global Real Weather, is a weather engine. Okay, it is a weather engine, nothing more. What it does is it gathers data from weather stations around the world. I can't remember how many thousands of weather stations it is. I think it's 14,000 different weather stations, but it gathers information from the nearest weather station to where your aircraft is located and it create and it generates the weather for the airport uh, and upwards and gives you winds aloft and and weather aloft etc etc okay and that's all it does it's a weather engine and what it so it gathers it gathers that information and it creates the weather around your aircraft from the local weather station so if i was to turn it on now it would generate the weather at bristol skymax pro version 3 in essence is clouds it's, it's not just clouds but it's lots of other environmental um, imaging okay and, and I'll turn it on now so you can see so if we just go to settings here uh, and Skymax Pro configuration okay so these are the different factors within Skymax Pro version 3 so you've got uh, clouds crepuscular rays those are the god rays so when the shun sun shines through clouds you get those rays okay there's a cirrus layer there's sky colors there's some sky colors in here there's uh, cloud reflections so that's reflections off the sea uh, there's a stratus overcast representation and there are four lens flare effects and we all know what lens flare cloud shadows and then cloud terrain blend softness okay and then uh, the top one on the top left here, I'm awfully sorry about that, I forgot that one, is cloud detail and cloud draw distance, okay? So th th these are the factors that SkyMax Pro produces, but it also uses new cloud textures, okay? So the, uh, John Spann, uh, who is um, a photographer and one of his hobbies, of one of his pastimes was looking at cloud and weather, he created the images and uh, Sundog and and John Spann working together came came and created Skymax Pro okay so Skymax Pro has all these different factors but also it has new cloud textures so I'm gonna turn on FS global real weather now and uh, it'll take a second to boot up but I'll be right back so I've just started FS Global Real Weather, uh, there's the next screen gone off, and this is what we start up with, okay? So welcome to FS Global Real Weather, you can load a weather file, you can have static weather download, so you can have the same weather everywhere, or you can have dynamic weather download. So I'm going to have dynamic weather download, 
So I want the most current weather. I just click continue, and it will get the current weather f for my location. So it's, it's interrogating the weather station at Bristol, and it will bring in the local weather for here. Okay? Please wait. It's just putting everything together. It's downloading the weather information from the internet. And you know, it, it gets its weather information from the same place that BatSim does. Okay? So it's, it's got the weather, but I can put in the airport EGG for Bristol and there we have it okay so wind is 0.88 degrees with 3 knots precipitation so no rain temperature is 9, dew point is 9 hence the fog visibility is 50 meters and sky cover is overcast to 300 feet Q&H is 1025 or 30.27 inches of mercury okay so start the weather transfer and that is done. So the weather transfer has been done, but then we've got the upper air as well. So telling us what's going on, those different flight levels. Okay. Now, looking looking here, it would appear nothing has changed. There might be a, a bit more blue. Uh, I'd actually say the visibility has gotten worse, maybe. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit and see when do we see the terminal. Uh, yeah, it, the, certainly the weather's gotten worse from when I first came in. So if we go inside the cockpit, yeah, we can just about see the terminal from there. But outside the cockpit, just it's very bad. So low vis procedures are certainly in effect here at Bristol. Uh, what's interesting, though, is what is going on above okay so we need to get above the fog and hopefully i can do this so uh, i just need, need to find the right key so i think it's uh, we'll go sh that one shift two yep yeah. and uh, we'll try and take a trip above the fog so let's go there we are i'll pause that um <laughs> that's at three thousand feet and it's still not much better is it we're, we're probably in the cloud okay we'll go back to bristol and uh You'll see that once back on the ground, the fog will reappear. It'll only take a moment. I should do anyway. Done with pre-rendering, and we'll be back. There you go. So just in a different location on the airport. And that is FS Global Real Weather and SkyMax Pro Version 3 together. It's a miserable old day. It's a miserable old day indeed.